the? This is ridiculous. This photo is totally ruined. What? How did this happen? Look at these dust spots. I just got back from this trip to the Smokies and I have tons of photos that have like dust spots all over them. Like I'm gonna have to totally clean my sensor. Like I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this because I'm infamous for getting dust spots on my camera sensor. It may sound scary, but it's really not. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to clean your sensor in this video. All right guys, in this channel we talk landscape photography. So if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing to this channel. Now, this is everything you need to clean your camera sensor. And this is the video of how to clean it and the safest way to clean it by yourself if you don't wanna take it to a store and have it clean for a lot of American dollars. Or you can buy a pack like this that I bought off of Amazon. I'll link it below in the video description for you guys to check out. It's very cheap, not that expensive, and very easy to use. This is exactly how to use it. And cleaning your camera sensor doesn't have to be like scary. You need the kit, you need your dirty, filthy camera, and all you basically have to do is just take off the lens to your camera, and you can use these to clean your lenses as well. Uh, I didn't do that, obviously because they're still filthy. So basically with a mirrorless camera, if you look directly at this, you have the mirror right up front when you take your lens off. If you have a DSLR, you can do the same thing. And these are great because they come matched with the size of your sensor. So this is an APS-C sensor cleaning kit. You can get a full frame if you have a full frame. I'm using it with my Sony a6000. So if you have a DSLR, you just go into your camera's menu and you select the option to flip your mirror down so you can use the sensor cleaning option on your camera to clean your sensor. Now, the number one thing that you don't want is getting any scratches on this or anything like that. Uh, that's the biggest fear. So if you have any dust on it beforehand, all you have to do is start cleaning it with one of these air blowers. So all you really have to do is take this air blower at an angle and just start blowing the sides off like this. This is gonna direct any like dust that you have on your camera sensor out at an angle and not just like embed it into the sensor so that when you clean it, you get a huge streak across and scratch your sensor. If you do this the right way, you won't get any of that. So don't be scared about scratching your sensor. You just blow this right off and you can easily clean your camera sensor. So once you use your air blower, you're just gonna open this bad boy up, slide it out. You have an operation manual that'll take you through all the steps that I'm about to take you through in this video. So if you wanna watch this video instead, you can be like me and just throw this to the side. So basically what you have in here are different options for you. You have little cleaning swabs, and these are all like permetically sealed. This is like medical, hospital style stuff guys we're like doing surgery on our cameras here so we have these and a lot of these and then you have this little solution so after you blow your dust off of your camera sensor what you want to do is take one of these out now before you use the solution for cleaning your camera sensor you want to make sure that you don't especially have to use this so what you want to do is open one of these up and you're just gonna take this swab out. Like I feel like I'm about to remove someone's spleen here. This is pretty serious stuff. So it comes like this and this is sealed. It has no dust on it. So you wanna be careful. Like I'm obviously talking and spitting all over this because I get so excited about landscape photography. But all I'm gonna do is take this swab and I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure down and clean off my sensor. So if you don't have any dust on it, after that, you don't have to use the solution. I still have a tiny dust spot on my sensor. So what I'm gonna do is discard this. Now the reason that you wanna discard this after you wipe it and not put the solution on is because now any dust that you did have on your sensor or any sand or anything like that is now on this swab. So discard that, 
You want to be very wasteful and ruin the environment here and get out a whole new cleaning swab when you could use the other one, but you would scratch your sensor. And you're going to take this solution. Basically what you're going to do is just put two drops on this. So one, Boop. there's two. Now this is going to get really nice and wet. You want to take the least wet side to the side opposite that you put this on and you're just going to apply a little bit of pressure here and go from left to right on there and it's going to get your sensor a little bit wet but you're just going to swipe that across if you have any remaining liquid on there you do want to get that off so you're going to take again another one of these gosh so wasteful get another one and do the exact same motion just to get all that liquid off of your sensor. And boom, we have a nice, beautiful, clean sensor until next time that I go out into the field and shoot in the sand and the rain and all that good stuff and get this sensor completely dirty again and have to do the same thing over again. Now, you can also blow off like your camera lens once you're doing this. If you're gonna attach that right back on, you can basically follow the same steps that we just did. Take one of these. Now, I'm not too worried about like getting a lot of dust off of the end of this. So I'm just gonna use the same ones that I already used, the dry ones, to get any dust off of my lenses. There's that one. And then I'm just gonna like fine tune this guy right here. And that's just gonna ensure that I don't get any dust back on my camera sensor. Now I'm just gonna point this away real quick. And there, now it looks like all the sand and stuff is off of this lens. I'm attached and I'm ready to go for the next shoot. One of the things that you may want to do with this is take a photo of like a blank white wall and see if there are any dust spots after it. This is going to show you basically if you have a blank white wall, it's going to show you any like shadowing that the dust causes on your camera sensor. And that will let you know, number one, if you still have dust on it and number two, exactly where that dust may be. Easiest way to clean a sensor guys, it is not that's scary, but you may get a medical degree after you're done with it.